Building the right projects at the right time will make you a .NET developer faster. I'm Alien, I've been coding for over 3 years and in this video I'll show you the types of projects to build at each step of your learning journey. Let's dive right in. When you're just starting out with programming there's so much to learn and you're not always sure what to do next. That's why having a clear roadmap can make all the difference. I've created one that I'll be using throughout this video to show you exactly what types of projects to build at each stage of your .NET learning journey and you can download it for free using the link below if you want to follow along. Now before you start building anything, there are a few basics you need to understand, like how the internet works, what's actually going on behind the scenes when you open a browser, and how code fits into all of that. Once you've got those fundamentals down, that's when C Sharp comes in. And this is the point where you should start building actual projects. After getting familiar with the syntax, printing messages to the screen, doing simple calculations, or solving small algorithm challenges, it's time to move on to console applications. They're simple but powerful and they're perfect for turning what you've learned into something real. So what should you build? Start small, think of tiny problems you'd like to solve with code, maybe a calculator, a console-based expense tracker or even a simple game you enjoy, like a typing game that measures how fast you can type some text on the screen. This is the phase where you really start thinking like a developer. You learn how to break problems down, solve them step by step and actually build something that works. And honestly, that moment when something you've built finally runs is one of the best feelings in programming, it's the reason many of us started coding in the first place. Now once you've gotten comfortable with C Sharp and built a few console apps, there's an important step you shouldn't skip, learning the basics of front-end development. Even if you don't plan to become a front-end developer, understanding how the full application works from top to bottom is what makes you a well-rounded, no BS developer. And when you know how the front-end and back-end connect, you'll write better code on both ends. Front-end development starts with three core technologies, HD HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You don't need to go super deep into each one, but I do recommend learning the basic syntax and building a few small projects to get hands-on experience. A great first project, try building your own portfolio website. Use HTML to structure your content, things like headings, paragraphs, and project sections. Then use CSS to style it, give it colors, layouts, and make it look clean. Finally, sprinkle in some JavaScript to add simple interactivity, like clicking a button to show or hide project details. Details. It doesn't have to be perfect, in fact your first version shouldn't be, what matters is that you're building something very useful. And the best part, you can keep improving this portfolio over time. Every time you finish a new project, just add it in. It becomes a living showcase of your progress and trust me, seeing that growth is incredibly motivating. If you want help building projects or learning C Sharp and .NET in general, you can get direct support and guidance inside the .NET Squad community. And you can start for free. Imagine learning a skill like programming and having a place to go whenever you're stuck or something isn't working in your code. You'll get monthly content on topics you vote for, maybe topics that are hard to find online or that you simply find difficult to understand. Plus, you'll connect with like-minded people to make learning easier. As I said, you can try it for free, it's basically a week of free coaching, the link is in the description, I highly recommend checking it out. Now let's get back to the video. Once you've built a few front-end projects and have a feel for how the client side works, it's time to move on to the back-end with ASP.NET Core, the powerful framework behind many real-world .NET applications. Now I'll be honest, when you first dive into ASP.NET Core, it can feel overwhelming. You'll see options to build web apps, web APIs, real-time apps, Razer Pages, Blazor and more. It's a lot, so here's my advice. Start simple and stay focused. Begin with web apps and in particular learn MVC, the modal view controller pattern. It's widely used, teaches you how to separate logic from the front end and gives you a strong foundation whether you move to Razer Pages or Blazor later on. Once you've got a grasp of the structure, how your project connects the front end to the back end and to the database, it's time to build. Start with something simple, a web app that stores and displays data. This could be a restaurant menu, a book list or a product catalog. The point isn't to build something fancy, it's to understand how data flows in a web app. You'll learn how to create a model, connect it to a database, and then retrieve and display that data in your views. As you grow more confident, use each new project to unlock a specific skill. Want to learn user authentication and role management? Build a small forum or a personal blog where users can register, log in, and post comments. Curious about handling payments? Try building a simple online store and integrate Stripe or another payment processor to manage a real transaction. 
functions. Wondering how to use external libraries? Try one for data visualization like Chart.js to display dynamic graphs. The key is to make each project intentional. You're not just building for the sake of it, you're building to learn something specific and apply it in a practical way. Over time, these small focused projects will stack up, you'll find yourself understanding more of the full stack picture. By the end of this stage, you'll have built up so much experience that taking on a larger, more advanced application will feel natural. Something like an auction site where all the skills you've picked up now will work together in one big real world project. If you're interested in exactly how to build the projects we mentioned in this video, I have a playlist where you'll find almost all of them, which should be on the screen now. So go ahead and click on it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there.